My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82university.com, and basketball is a love language for me. Why Duke will fire John Shire? I know for a lot of my Duke friends, because my homeboys I grew up with, y'all ain't going to like this, but this is the truth. When you come into the game of basketball, when you come into the coaching side of basketball, you know immediately that you are counting down to the day that you get fired. Unless you find yourself in a situation where you are protected and insulated because of some sort of legacy position because your father gave it to you or something like that. Now, John Shire is legacy, and he is protected. John Shire, 2010 national champion at Duke. John Shire played in the NBA for a hot second, if I'm not mistaken. John Shire is someone that Coach K said, listen, this is going to be your program. But Coach K's office is still down the hall. And I can tell you from personal experience, kind of personal, I went to Indiana. And in Indiana, there's really only one basketball coach that's ever existed. It's Bob Knight. And anybody in coaching can tell you, when you follow the guy, that's the toughest position you can ever have. Mike Davis was the guy that followed Bob Knight. Mike Davis got us to a national championship game the year that Coach Knight got fired. I'm sorry, the following year that Coach, year, Coach Knight got fired. Mike Davis has recruiting guys that were top five, top ten recruits. Had Josh Smith, who went to the NBA, had DJ White, had James Hardy played in the NFL for a little bit, rest in peace. We had some killers coming in there. But because Mike Davis was not living up to the expectations of Coach Knight, the fans turned on him. The alumni base turned on him. I was at the game where an entire section of students, and if you know anything about Assembly Hall, Indiana University, our student section is like 9,000 people were wearing all black shirts because they wanted our coach fired at the game, home game, protest. Mike Davis didn't stand a chance. You look at a university in North Carolina when Dean Smith, he retired. Bill Guthridge, he was associate head coach, got handed the position and got handed Vince Carter, got handed Antoine Jameson, got handed Ed Coda, got handed Brandon Haywood, and couldn't win a national championship with him. They got rid of him fast. When, when it got Matt Doherty, got rid of him fast, got Roy Williams, and they finally got it rolling. Villanova right now, Jay Wright. Handpicked Kyle Neptune. Kyle Neptune ain't really doing like that. They thought he was going to do it, even though it was his first season. Villanova is one of the basketball royalty right now. This is a great property. This is a great asset in the entire basketball ecosystem. We need you to perform. So much so, let's tell Baker Dunleavy, who was a head coach at Quinnipiac, to come over and be the now new position that we're going to title general manager of the Villanova basketball program just to make sure that, Kyle, you have everything taken care of so you can just coach. John Shire has this as well. He is a general manager. Her name is Rachel Baker. I think she came from Jordan, if I'm not mistaken, because they just want John Shire to just coach and be the leader of the program. But when you look at Duke's fan base, you look, the, you look at the alums that are alive today, Tim Cook at Apple, I think his second-in-command also is a Duke alum as well. And everybody inside the Coach K basketball family that works all throughout basketball and every other industry. These people do not know what it's like to have a basketball program that does not make the NCAA tournament. They don't know what it's like to have a basketball program that doesn't win national championships once every eight to ten years. As someone who is from Indianapolis, Indiana, and my degree says Indiana University Bloomington, we ain't won national championship in 36 years. That is not a pain that Duke alums know right now. And I'm not saying that John Shire won't get it done. I'm not saying that John Shire won't be successful because Duke is set up to be a machine where anybody can kind of be in their seat. I'm just saying, historically speaking, when you look at the history of college basketball, the guy that follows the guy Gets his head chopped off. Let's all pray that John Shire don't get decapitated. I'm out the pond. Y'all stay true. Vote, 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 vote.